Welcome back to 22 Fashion Engineers. I'm Elizabeth and today's video is about my favorite drugstore concealers. Um, concealer is one of those makeup categories that I'm always in search for the better, bigger product uh, that's going to solve all of my problems. Um, but I do have some good choices for the drugstore. You know that I start at the drugstore usually and if I don't find what I need, I go high-end. I did find some very nice products that I want to share with you that I've been using and I wanted to let you know about this because I don't always show the concealing part in my videos. The first product that I use is actually not a concealer. This is a moisturizing cream from Olay. This is called, let's see, this is called Olay Regenerist Eye Regenerating Cream Touch of Concealer. I do apologize for the lighting. I'm working with natural daylight as usual. And let me show you what this is. This is um, a cream product that comes in a skin tone color. Okay, and you put this on and it absorbs right away. You see how it has a little bit of a, of a skin tone tint. It's not completely white. Now, this is not going to conceal your dark circles. But the reason why I use this is because it is moisturizing. But it's not overly so. My under eye area tends to be very dry. So if I put concealer on top of my... Um, of my skin without moisturizing, that concealer is going to cake up and it's not going to blend at all. On the flip side, if I use my face moisturizer, which has um, SPF in it, it's so moisturizing and it's going to sit on my skin instead of absorbing right away. And then when I go in with an actual concealer, it's going to uh, sip into those fine lines and, uh, and wrinkles. So. This is a happy medium because it does moisturize your under eye area, but it um, absorbs right away. So it's not going to make your concealer crease. Or if there is any creasing, it's minimal and there's nothing that you can handle with a little bit of blending and maybe some setting powder. Um, for my under eye concealer, I use this L'Oreal blend, Super Blendable Crayon Concealer in uh, W123. That is the warm um, side of the spectrum there. This is a twist up concealer and I've used quite a bit. And um, the way this works, let me show you how creamy this is. Uh, you just blend it up and it has very nice, very uh, almost full coverage. I wouldn't say it's full coverage, um, but you can uh, build it up. You can use it um, with your fingers and have a sheer application or you can just place it on your skin and then blend it out. And that's going to give you extra coverage for those uh, nights that you missed out, you know, in terms of sleep. Um, I really like this. This is a cream product. It has absolutely no shine. I do have something with a luminescence to it. This is also from L'Oreal. This is from their True Match collection as well as you can tell I use this quite a bit. Uh, this is one of those wand applicators. The downside is that it gets very messy but this has a little bit of luminescence to it. So this is more of a highlighter but it has coverage as you can tell. This is a very nice creamy product. It has a little bit more luminescence to it and both of these you can blend to no end. I'm not doing a very good job backwards here, but um, very good products. If I don't find something better high-end, um, I will definitely come back and repurchase these two when I run out. And as far as my face concealer goes, this is the Revlon Color Stay Blemish Concealer. I featured this in my video about how to keep breakouts at bay. This is also a wand applicator. And let me show you. This has very good coverage as well, especially for blemishes. You can see it's a little bit thick. And the reason why this is a blemish concealer, you don't put this under your eyes, uh, this has salicylic acid 0.5%, uh, no, 0.5%. And that is an ingredient that helps with breakouts and pimples and blackheads and things like that. So uh, this is specifically for those trouble spots that we all try to cover. This also has no shine because otherwise we would be shining lights on places that we don't want to highlight. So these are my uh, my favorite drugstore concealers. This is all I have. I don't have any more. I have uh, gone through a couple of them, but if I don't use something, I tend not to keep it. It either goes back or it, uh, it goes away. <laughs> I don't keep things that I don't use. Uh, these are my four concealing products. I am, however, looking for higher end products because although these are good I haven't found my holy grail concealer so please let me know what your favorite high-end concealers are or even drugstore concealers if you found something that's better than these two then these let me know and um, I'll definitely check them out because I am on a hunt <laughs> so I will be going to Sephora soon and I hope I have your recommendations please list your uh, 
uh, your suggestions in the comments down below. The information for the products that I just showed you are listed in the information box, uh, so don't forget to expand that. And uh, if you got some tips or you like this video in any way, please thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so, and let me know what you think. I love talking to my subscribers and my viewers, um, and uh, I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Until next time.